Thank you, Janos. So on behalf of the council, um, today is our day to offer a heartfelt thank you and congratulations to you and to the entire C2G team. So I think the word of the day for us is bittersweet. Bittersweet's a great word in that it combines two contradictory feelings, and I think that's the way life usually is. We are a bit sad as we say farewell to the project, but we're also happy as we celebrate its many successes. At Carnegie Council, we're grateful for seven years of friendship and collaboration, although I'm wondering whether the COVID years count as regular years, uh, they count as more years or less years, we're not sure, we'll have to talk about that. But it's been seven years of a really exciting adventure and we feel very lucky here at Carnegie Council to have been part of it. When I received an email from Irene Krarup of the Rasmussen Foundation inquiring about the possibilities for collaborating on this project, little did I know that it would, have such a, that it would be such a pioneering and ambitious effort and little did I know it would have such an important impact on our council and its work. And when I subsequently met Janos, and one by one the members of the team he assembled, I saw firsthand how a small but mighty team could have impact on a global scale. And Carnegie Council has turned out to be the perfect home for this venture. For more than 100 years, this council has worked on issues of global governance, emphasizing the need for international cooperation based on shared values and shared interests. We are independent, nonpartisan, and the council is always drawn widely from experts across professional sectors, academic disciplines, and civil society to advance new ideas in the public interest. From the beginning, C2G has been explicit in linking ethics to governance, our premise is that rules, norms, and standards for the development and potential use of new climate-altering technologies needed to be based on ethical principles. Those principles should be well understood, widely discussed, and generally agreed to as the basis for international cooperation. With these principles now in play, Thanks to C2G, it is now possible to imagine a positive and constructive global dialogue that will ultimately govern the use of climate altering technologies such as solar radiation modification and carbon dioxide removal. Goal driven and results oriented, C2G has delivered on its time bound campaign to put climate altering technologies on the agenda of national gov governments, world bodies, in international organizations such as the United Nations. As you will hear this morning, C2G accomplished its ambitious goals by providing essential thought leadership, resulting in immediate impact on the international agenda, creating a community of knowledgeable and engaged participants, publishing original educational resources for expert and general audiences, and establishing an irreplaceable platform and library for the future. In short, C2G is an exemplary model for how to make ideas matter in the policy world, in how to facilitate dialogue, in how to be patient and persistent in the pursuit of long-term goals. It's my sincere hope that new initiatives right here at Carnegie Council will be created in C2G's image. The world faces numerous global scale governance crises that would benefit immeasurably from a similar approach and C2G has shown us the way. So with that, I'm gonna turn the floor back over to Janos. And if today is graduation, Janos, you are our valedictorian. So congratulations and uh, thank you. <laughs>